Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been a while since we did a garden tour. So I think we'll have a quick look around, see what's what. And show you some of the flowers that are flowering and what's growing. And whatever the dog's just eating. Right, so we'll start with the raised planters that we painted over the winter. If I can get my shadow out of the way. Uh, along the back here, we've got some garlic, some lettuce in the middle there, and some strawberries in the front here. We've got uh, red vine sorrel, and some thyme. And this one's still empty at the moment. We've got a few of pansies from last year still flowering. Uh, I'll leave them ones in and just fill in the gaps. And over here we've got some garlic chives and some more daffodils there. And then in these planters at the end of the decking, got a lot of the daffodils have died off now, so I've just snapped them back and see. All the tulips starting to come through, along with the uh, Sweet Williams. And a bit more going on on this side. Again, some daffodils, tulips, some calendula. They're from last year again. The poppy. Pink poppies and some more tulips. And another calendula. And in all these pots, I'm not 100% sure what all these are. They were all from my grandmother. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just let them flower out this this year and decide what's what. See what we're gonna keep and what we're not. It's also the same goes for these pots. Yes, I know there's a few roses. No idea what things like this are, but we've got a rose in that one, a rose in this one, a rose in that one, and another rose in that one. <coughs> and then up this side, we've just got loads of the mini daffodils, tulips. These sort of things, I have no idea what they're called, so if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. All these bulbs came with no labels, so not 100% sure what any of them are. Okay, we've got the comfrey coming through here and there. Got some more Sweet Williams. And the big word that I always struggle saying, hysanthesis. And the three-cornered leek, this just grows all the way up here and all the way up the drive. And that is great for the pollinators, they absolutely love that. The yellow raspberries, cut them back and they're all starting to throw out new shoots. Plenty coming on up. I had to cut it back so it was over six foot tall. And then in this bed here, we've got the garlic. We've got three different varieties in here. 
Rhapsody, Coke White and Rose White. And a couple of spinach up there. And then in this bed, we've got, this is my own saved garlic seed from last year. And these ones are the Russian giant on this side. See, quite tall. Uh, another fruit bush, not sure which one this one was. It's either the red current or the black current. And the other one's over there. Uh, Comfrey, this is the Bocking 14 that was sent to me from Alan over at the Dawn Chorus Pot. And then we've got beetroot and shallots in here. And what looks like a rogue onion there. So must have got a shallot mixed up with an onion at some point. But these are all saved from last year. And as you can see, nice new growth on them. And this bed down the side, we've got a honeyberry, which is starting to get plenty of flowers on that. Hopefully we'll get some fruit off that this year. A blueberry and a gooseberry. And then we've got the cabbages. Uh, I've kept this space clear for the broccoli. We've got a couple more beetroot down there. Some swedes that have gone to seed. They need to come out. And then some more garlic. And the herb bed is looking really good. Rosemary's come along really well. And sage. Um, there's about four or five different mints in there as well. We've got spearmint, peppermint, chocolate mint, Old English. And I can't remember what the other ones were. And then some more daffodils, tulips, sweet williams, and I think there the gladioli is starting to come up. I've planted a load more in here again. And we've also got the, all the dahlias planted in here. So they should come up soon. And as you can probably tell, this bed here has become Bobby's new play box for the time being. And then we've got the elephant garlic that was sent to me by Terry King. Uh, he sent me three bulbs and we kept everything. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there now. So hopefully we'll get a bit better stock this year and maybe get to try one. The parsnip bed, that's ready to go. Picked out a load of stones. Um, we'll give this a feed and get this planted up this week, hopefully. But I'll do a whole video on that. is either the black current or the red current and we've got this bed empty ready to go and composting bays they're looking a mess at the moment only to sorting out and then that brings us to a small polytunnel In here, it's just storage at the moment, really. 
but we've got the beetroot at the back there that we overwintered, they're coming along quite nice now some shallots and a couple of garlic behind them along the back uh, here we've got cauliflower and broccoli and some more cauliflower and broccoli in there poppies and the condor seed potatoes uh, the rockets from last year and some more poppies down here all ready to get planted out that's it for in here and this part I haven't shown anything on this but we've planted the tickle me pink apple tree there a conference pair here and another apple tree there I think that's the Jonah Gold and then this pear tree I dug up from a job that I was on brought it home and planted it and it's got tons of blooms on that now but that is about 10 years old didn't think it'd survive being dug up and planted, but clearly it has. And it's put on quite a bit of growth since. So hopefully, if not this year, but next year we should get some fruit on them. The new long root structure still remains untouched. I've cut the polycarbonate for the top and the back. I just need to get some washers so I can screw that in place. And we've got a blue spruce Christmas tree out here. And a load of other bits and bobs. Some of the giant swede. They need to be potted on again. And then we've got some old strawberry plants behind there. Some lavender and some privacy hedges and this is an old water tanker from an attic and I thought it's quite thick it's insulated it's got a tap on the bottom I thought that would make a perfect worm bin so I'm going to get on to doing that soon and currently got the other worms down here but as you can see they're all looking lively and survived the winter so it's definitely worth bringing them in over winter especially whilst they're in these little buckets but once they're in this because this tank's insulated it's about an inch and a half thick. They should be okay in that over winter. And it's what I'll do is I'll just slide it on underneath there. So it's not taking up any room up here. Some more strawberry plants need sorting out. And I might plant them in here once we fill it. But I've given this a coat of paint and made a start on filling it with just bits that I've had lying around but we'll get a few bags of good compost to fill that and then up here got more tulips on there and some more lavender and that brings us to the other polytunnel is one of the giant cabbages just potted that on got some leeks one of the onions another giant cabbage there some more red vine sorrel a Picasso potato this was from 
last year's single seed potato challenge. Got plenty of them that I kept back for seed for this year. They're going to be my main crop this year. Got some beans, broad beans. They're desperate to be planted out now. Um, a leek. And these are my first early potatoes. Started them in these small trays. And I'm going to be planting them out over the next week or two, most probably. But I'm going to do them a bit different to the main crops. So keep an eye out for that video. Some spare leeks. Some strawberries. This one has started to get a flower on it. We might get a couple of strawberries off them. And cabbages in the back there. Need to pull them dead leaves off and give them a tidy up. Got purple sprouting broccoli and green sprouting broccoli. And the grape tree. Doesn't look like it's done much. But hopefully once that's planted out, it should fly away. Got first showing of sweet peas here. Looking really well, a bit tall, but I want them to grow up tall, so. More strawberries, the giant beetroots, and giant onions in the back there. And a couple of containers of carrots. And then, of course, you'd have just seen you putting all these on. These are the single seed potato. Challenge 2023, hosted by Steve Digwell over at Digwell Greenfingers. And hopefully they all take. And then in this 30 litre pot, we've got the purple potato that we found. That was potted on the other day. And then in the fish tanks, we've got onions and more shallots in there some more sweet peas some pansies in the back and some more shallots and in this one we've got another two showings of beetroot spring onions still haven't come up some more pansies some marigolds, nasturtiums, calendulas and some more marigolds there. And then on top we've got some more pansies and the red cabbage, uh, the lola, the and the first showing of peas in the back there. And then up here, we've got the second sowing. And we've got some more um, shallots. There, there's a brune. And then some more poppies behind them. Right then, guys, so... That's about it, that's a full tour of everything what's going on here, except for what we've got in the house, which you've seen plenty of that over the last few weeks. And I'll do another update on that in a couple of weeks to come. But that's about it for this one today, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.